What's going on, my beautiful people? Welcome to my channel. My name is Tree. Okay, first, I want to take the time to apologize for my absence in February. Your girl was sick for like 10 days. Um, I didn't have the flu, but that cold felt every bit of me having the flu. Also, I'm going to introduce you guys to a new YouTube creator here on the YT. She's been on here since December, and her channel is nothing short of the word amazing, awesome. Hell to the queen when it comes to thrifting. She is good. And Texas is doing it big up in, over in, in Texas. So, yeah. They have $2 days, $1.50 days, 50 cent days. And I'm saying this too to say I'm going to be doing a thrifting swap. And most people talk prices, sizes, colors. I kind of jumped on in and pulled the trigger to do this one um, to go purchase some of her stuff ahead of time because... We don't do it like that over here in my state. So I just wanted to make sure I got it right. I want to get her okay with this one item that, that I'm about to show you guys if I'm on the right track or not. If not, I'll just wait till we, I'll stop because I've picked up quite a few of her stuff, things already. And I want to see if I'm on the right track. So here we go. Okay. Also, this is my first time using my web webcam. Webcam. <laughs> so I don't know if it's going to be a good quality or not. Also, you're going to see a blue glare. Also, you're going to see me doing all this, trying to get it focused and centered. And it's going to look like I'm holding stuff cricket because I am trying to get it focused and centered. This right here, please give me the okay if this is something that you like. And this is the brightest white of whites. This is a teapot. And it has a top with it. It's actually microwavable, oven, and dishwasher safe. Um, I showed it to my friend when I was in the thrift store. And she was like, oh, I want that. <laughs> so I'll show you the name of Charlie. it. You're going to see Pottery Barn. A whole lot of Pottery Barn. This is my first time ever purchasing Pottery Barn. Um, to be quite frank, I never actually heard of Pottery Barn. Um, so... Here we go. <laughs> I scored this today. I got six of them for $10.99 a couple of days ago. Also, I'm doing my tablescape for either Thanksgiving or Christmas. Not both holidays. Nope. Not both. But for either Thanksgiving or Christmas, I'm doing my tablescape and white and cream. It was supposed to be all white, but because some of these things are cream and off-white, <laughs> that's what it's going to be. So I got this um, serving platter. And this is actually sold at Macy's. And depending on like what color you pick this up in, this one says cream wear. If you picked it up in white, it'll say white wear. You guys, look at this. I got two of these for $2. This is what I'm about to show you. I was actually getting either or. I was getting either this or the Pottery Barn. I wasn't planning on getting both of them, but it's a story behind that too. And so I paid for both of them without knowing I paid for both of them. And I was going to keep shopping because it was one item of your choice before 11 o'clock, um, half off. So I was getting my one item of my choice and I was just like, well, let me just go ahead and pay for the other stuff and I'll go put it to the car, put it in the car. So I was going to actually just like keep these in my cart and not necessarily get them. And she had charged me for them. And I was like, okay, let me take my plates to the car too. <laughs> <laughs> so I got four of these for $5.99. You guys, I looked up. If you got a complete set of these dishes right here, and this color is $120. You guys must have been something that Delta Airlines gave their employees. Because I've never heard of Delta dishes with the airline stamp. And I got two of these bowls. These are white. And these were $1.99 with 25% off. So I paid, what, $1.50 for these? $1.75. Paid $1.75 for these. I plan on putting, like, nuts and fruit in these. I thought these were three ninety nine. dollars And I got this, I think, yesterday. And look at that detail right there. And... This is KitchenAid, $2. This right here is the start of my white dish collection. I actually purchased this um, 
let's just say I just purchased it and I really hadn't planned on keeping it for myself. And then when I looked at it, I was like, I need to start my own white dish collection. <laughs> so I purchased this. This I'm just now seeing is the same make as the teapot. How cool is that? This in my own um, sunset, it looks like an eyeball. And this is completely like really white. I love this. This was $2.99. Is this right here? I'm assuming that it can go in the oven or the stove. It doesn't say. Will somebody please leave in the comment section? Is it safe to put this in the oven? It's very heavy. And this was actually 75% off of seven guys. You're also going to see on John's channel. Please check them. When you check her videos Especially out. Especially because she just started in December. And you don't want to miss the finds that she has found. Tanika Davis. Purses like in Hawaii. Please go check her out. Okay. John showed two perfume bottles that were like gold and some sort of glass that was beautiful, gorgeous, <sighs> beautiful, breathtaking. And I was like, I want one of those. I, I want both of those. <laughs> I, I didn't make that comment. But I just said, wow, those perfume bottles were beautiful. You guys, I found this today. This is actually, I really believe this is like crystal. This is very heavy. It is chipped, and I did not notice that it was chipped in two spots. It's not that noticeable. Um, it's chipped in two spots right at the bottom. I got this for $9.99, and look at this. The perfume only goes from like here to there in a very narrow area. This screws off, and it has the dipper for the perfume. I told you guys I have to center it. Is that not gorgeous of what? Beautiful. $9.99. I love this. Okay. You will see things like that on John's channel. The two that she has is vintage. Um, I don't I don't know anything about this because it doesn't have any markings. Hers had markings on it, and hers are vintage. Okay. So I was in the Salvation Army, my favorite Salvation Army. And I was so excited. Called my husband on the way home. And I was like, I got you something. I got you something. And he was like, really? I was like, yeah, I got you something. I was like, I got you some Cartier cologne. And this is musk. And I don't like M-U-S-T cologne for men, I guess. And I was so excited that the guy charged me $1.99 for this. That guess what, you guys? I didn't even smell this until I got home. Okay, I didn't take a whiff of it or anything. Until I got home. My son says, it kind of smells like cinnamon. He's like, I like it. Too bad you, you're not getting this because I just don't. I have a very sensitive nose to smell. And I can smell. I, I don't even want to tell you what my son and my husband called me. But anyway, I can smell very well. And so I just don't think I want to smell this. This has a very distinctive smell to it. So this actually resells. Even with this missing for anywhere from $30 to $60 online. And I'm not going to resell it. I'm going to gift this to my father because he used to wear like Brute and some other Old Spice. Yeah, he used to wear Old Spice and Brute and all that other stuff. So I think this is something that would fancy him a little bit. And so I'm going to give this to my dad. This is a very expensive cologne. Okay, so on to the jury. You guys, those... Big necklaces and statement necklaces from Walmart. I kind of want to pack mine up until everybody um, has kind of like stopped wearing them, lost them, broke them, and all that other good stuff and bring them out, you know, in a couple of years or whatever. And you're still going to probably see me in it because I still gravitate towards them. So I wanted some simple jewelry. This is not real. It doesn't have a marking. Again, you're seeing the blue from the computer off of it. This is absolutely gorgeous just when I tell you. Let's see if I can get that up there like that. Look at this. I love this right here. And this was $4.99 and I got this from the Salvation bracelet right Army. Here. Okay. I knew it was something special about this bracelet. And I mean, if you pop it, you're going to hurt your finger. Okay. If you put this on your knuckles, if you get in a jam or something like that, you're going to hurt something on somebody else. <laughs> This is actually, I'm going to consider this as my Wonder Woman bracelet. You won't see this one coming. <laughs> 
this is so hard but seriously this would be a very good self-defense piece for anybody because it's just that hard um so something i kept saying is something special about this it's something special about this now it's not 24 karat gold or anything it's some type of hard metal that they actually coated it with gold but when i got home i just knew that it had to have a marking on it you couldn't see it with the naked eye just by looking okay you can't see any markings up in there so i had to actually take my loop uh, i think it's called a loop and or loof and i had to look this is from j crew I looked up some of their bracelets that was similar to this that wasn't even a two stack bracelet. It was more so one stack bracelet. This bracelet possibly retailed anywhere from 150 to 250, according to what some of the bracelets that I saw on um, J. Crew site. So I got this for $3, you guys. This is such a beautiful bracelet. Let me see. Look at this. This right here is so gorgeous i'm going to wear this as an everyday bracelet trust this right here is vintage i looked this um jewelry up it's from the 50s um these i thought was real pearls even the guy at the store said he thought they could have been something because of the feel of them um it's, a couple of them are missing to so a couple of the stones i don't think they're pearls because when i looked um, really close to them, like the pearls look like, like let's just call it paint. Looks like some of it is missing some paint and stuff on the, and pearls don't have paint, so that's how I know they're not pearls, but it's stuff like chipped from them. But this is actually from the 50s. I'm going to insert the name across the computer. Um, the, this jewelry right here, it resells for a lot of money um, online. This I'm keeping but I thought it was absolutely it was gorgeous. Like Joan don't... or another YouTuber that had this wallet by Stella and Dot. And these retail for like 150, anywhere from 130 to 150. They resell for anywhere from $20 to $60 online. If anyone knows me or been with me for a while, knows my favorite color is red. So you should know that I am keeping this. This is actually... Oops, I put stuff, I put the receipts and stuff in here. Pink in the inside, really cute. And it actually has a saying on it that says, I thought that was just so cute. And I paid $9.99 for this. I Shoes purchased this, that I this purchased. Past. Normally I wear flats, but by this being a block heel, you see how that goes over? The heel would be equivalent to me wearing it like that. And plus this block is going to help me walk in it i have a dress that is very maxi on your girl because you know i'm six feet tall and the dress that i have that is a maxi dress is black and white and i can't wait to wear these with them i got these from saint vincent de paul for four dollars so another thing that is on joan's channel is her favorite ultimate thrift find i actually had to stop making comments on her videos because every time she shows something i was like Oh my god, my ultimate find, and I didn't tell her, my ultimate find was a Gucci item as well. You guys, I'm either giving this to my daughter or I'm reselling this one. Um, this is a authentic Gucci belt right here. What I like about this belt is that it's not the double G's like everybody is used to seeing, but it is this one right here. Oh, can you see that? There you go. I absolutely love this. And if I love it, why am I selling it? Because I can't fit it. That's why. <laughs> but look at it. Gorgeous. You guys, I paid $1 for this. $1 dollar this was my best Take these up this ever. past saturday these are a men pair of shoes these are robert wang okay look them up on youtube find out you can actually take the insoles out and so they're going to be easy to wash these i believe they probably wore like one time maybe i'll give them twice i'll give them two times so i'm going to take these out it's very clean in the inside and I'm going to wash them. This is actually 
rubber. They are made like flip-flops, like the flip-flops from Adidas or Nikes or whatever. This is what this feels like, but this at the top, if you can see, is mesh. Look at this. So soft, so comfortable. I almost left these behind. Um, I tried them on like four times at the counter and I was like, oh, I don't know. And the lady was, because they were $19.99 with 25% off of the shoes that day. So it made them $14.99. I almost left them behind. The lady was like, are they comfortable? I was like, yeah. She was like, it appears that red is your favorite color because I had my, um, my phone and I think I had on red, you know, red head, red hair or whatever. She was like, well, it appears that. And I was like, yeah. So I got them. She's like, those are going to be some shoes that you wish you would have got. And so I'm so happy that I listened to her. These are so comfortable right here. Can't wait to clean those up. Next up, there's another YouTuber in Texas. This is a different lady, but this is another YouTuber in Texas that gave me this idea. Okay, so the idea was she was she has these vintage bottles and she wanted one to put mouthwash in to put on her vanity. I was like, oh my God, that is such a cool idea. So I have been looking for these. Or I was looking for the right one for our future house, whenever that may be. <laughs> and I found this one. And I got a little um, crystal shot glass that I plan on pouring a mouthwash in and just, you know, just... And unless yeah. I'm trying to find the perfect I that, one, I found like four or five other ones that I'll be sharing with you guys in future videos. But I want to show you my favorite one. This one is going to go on my um, cocktail table. We don't drink or anything, but I got an idea of what I'm going to do with them. I'm going to put water and some type of coloring in them to change the water different colors from seasons to season. And this is my favorite one. Look at this. I got this from Value World for $8.98. And look at this. Look at the detail on this bad boy right here. I love this. It is so heavy. It just reminds me, again... John don't know what I'm talking about. It reminds me of I Dream of Jeannie. And that was one of my favorite shows when I was little. Right here. I love this. This is on both sides. This cute little button. And it's some capris that's more dressy pants. But they kind of look like denim. But they're not. Some kind of like a tweeted blue and white material. Some capris. 99 cents. They were 75% off of $3.99. This right here is sold at off. It's either Nordstrom's or Saks Fifth Avenue. I believe it's Nordstrom's. You're not going to get the gist of this until you see it on. This is actually mixed with cashmere. The name is Joan Bass. Boss Bass. Joan Bass. I got this. I think I paid full price for this, which was $3.99. This one is in a size extra large, but it runs big, and so I can fit it. Again, you, this you're not going to be able to understand how cute this is until I do some type of, see, until I do some type of try-on video with this. Let me know in the bottom what your favorite item is that I showed you. Also, let me know if you want to see a three- Let's see, I'll call it a three look video with that one top. Love this right here. This is from Torrent. Look at that gold detail that's in this right here. That's what I really love. And what I actually love too is this right here. How cute is that? And this is really thick. A really thick sew on patch. And this is just a tank top. Again, it's trimmed in gold and the bird is gold. And let me show you something that I did not get retail, but I plan on wearing with these. I got these from Foreman Mills and it is these. Look how cute these are. These were $9.99 from Foreman Mills. 
and there are just some gold and white gym shoes and these are actually a size 10 but it has a lot of stretch in them so i was able to i cannot wear 10s not unless they're open toes but for some reason these fit and i'm so grateful and thankful that they do that's what they look like up close $4.99. I just really love the girly girl sleeves on it. And it's a beautiful, peachy, very light coral color. And it's that stretchy, stretchy material. Really cute. So this is from the UK. This brand is called... Here. You guys see? Oops. Right there. Made in the UK. I don't do backpacks. I, I haven't did a backpack since grade school. <laughs> but when I tried it on, I was like, oh my God, what am I, what have I been missing? The comfort of a backpack and shopping. Seriously, the comfort of a backpack and shopping. I literally called my daughter and was like, you think I don't look right carrying a backpack? And she's like, I don't see why not. This is so soft. This um, retails for like $130. And... It has little slots right here for your cards and ink pens, and it has some more in the inside. A zipper pocket on the back. This was $14.99. Okay, again, Joan went to a yard sale, and she's new in Texas, too. She's been there for four years, but she's new to some of the areas that she drive, drives through to go shopping. So she saw a yard sale and she picked up a, um, she purchased a shoe box full of jewelry with a Movada watch in it for $3 for all of this jewelry that you guys are going to see. So I'm telling you, go check her channel out. And I told her, I said, oh my God, I was gifted a Movada watch before from one of my clients. Um, and I, I was like, okay. So I just wanted to show her because it's almost like everything she was showing. I was like, oh, my God, I got it. <laughs> so this is my Movada watch. And then I started wondering, like, why did I stop wearing this watch? First of all, the battery, I had to take it to a jeweler's. It's not a typical backing that you could take off. So I had to take it to a jeweler so they could take it off and put a battery in it. And then I was wondering, like, why did I stop wearing it? And I see why. I need to go get a new band because this little part is missing. But this was just to show her, like, I didn't want her to think, like, she says every video, I got that, I found that. I <laughs> but you guys, I got this for absolutely free. And I, the story behind this, too, is um, the lady, this was something that I normally didn't even do in my business. She actually needed somebody to help her move. She was a big realtor broker. Um, living in a penthouse and she needed to be out of here by so many days and I stayed and I helped her to like 3 a.m. and the lady who was in the um, business with me she left at 12 and the next day she gave us some gifts of her items and this was something that she gave me and so my friend was like why she give you that and only gave me this and as I thought about it I'm thinking I stayed to three o'clock and you left at 12. That, that makes sense doesn't it? <laughs> so until next time you guys stay blessed and stay safe that's a good video i think that was a good video let me know what your favorite item was and until next time i might be doing another video this week i just i'm in the mood i'm in the mood bye-bye